Hi family, ready to finally get started with Rate 126, but unsure how to download it with the right way. You are not alone, that's exactly why I made this video for you. Whether you are a student trying to unlock your first free license or a professional exploring the latest version, I will walk you through every step clearly, calmly and confidently. No guessworks, no tech confusion, just straight answers and smart tips. So stay with me because in the next few minutes, I, we will be sharing you Rate 126 installed without the headaches. So first go to autodesk.com, only use the official site, trust me this matters actually. Don't risk catchy downloads from unofficial sources, clean install is your clean work actually. Now if you are a student, you are in luck actually. Autodesk offers a 100% free educational license. Just sign in with your school email and verify your academic status. You will get a fully function version for one year, not a stripped down trial. This is gold if you are learning architecture or engineering and yes, you can use it, you can use it for your real projects and learning, Vim workflows also. So it's a win-win for students. So for professionals, if you are working pro, you have got two paths, that is try it for free for 30 days or subscribe with business license. Either way, the process is smooth actually. I will guide you through the download interface, choosing between Windows and Mac options if it's supported in your system and how to pick the right Revit version if you are juggling projects. If you have like long big projects and which version is suitable, I will guide you. So before hitting install, pause. Check your system specs, Revit is actually much powerful but it's also heavy. Make sure your PC has the right processor, RAM and graphics compatibility. I will flash a simple checklist on screen so you don't run into our errors midway. Keep your Autodesk login information ready, you will need for it for during activations. So now let's install, I will show you how to go step by step. From clicking download to the setup screen to the installation splash page. I will also point out what to avoid like unnecessary packages that slow you down or pop-ups that confuse most first timers. Trust me this part I have got only for you. So let's directly dive into this screen. So let me teach you how to download. Uh, first you need to go into Autodesk. Okay, I hope you have registered to your students login right. So then you can go to support. Then you can search downloads and click on download your software. So once you come into this production service, you can see over down, you have a Revit option here as well as twin version for Revit. So you need to click on Revit. So whatever version you want, like it might be 2026, 2025, 24 or 23. I suggest uh, based on yours, like we, uh, we uploaded this video, like for your system, what is the requirement based on that you can download. For now, let me show you uh, the recent one that is 2026 and click on install. And you can also have a custom install as well as download. So click on download. So if, once you click on download, it will start preparing download. And and after that, you it will come a pop up at the top. This is your first step. So once you download, you can uh, cut that this year. This is already a downloading file to create installer. So it has been downloaded. You can save at some location. Uh, for example, like I have already downloaded, so I will not download it again. So you can choose your location. So this is where I have already downloaded. This will pop a like pop up like create installer Revit 26 application. Okay, so this is your first one step one. So then when you get downloaded, you need to double click on this. Then it will start preparing. Since I have already have Revit 26, so I will not go into direct download options. I will just tell you the procedures where are uh, till how you need to download. Later on, you can directly access with your student ID or else if you have uh, your professional ID, you can add with that and you can start using Revit. So let us. Let me show you the steps again. This might take time because uh, Revit 26 usually has some uh, more uh, updates than our previous. So it, it will take some time. Okay, since Autodesk is creating the installer, once it gets create, you need you will get these settings here as it is creating installer. After that, you are finishing, you need to click on run installer. Okay, so it will prepare for installation now. You can see at the top, this is like Revit 26 which I have already downloaded. So just I'm uh, making this video to show you the procedure and how you can download it. Okay, uh, since it has been prepared for installation, now you can see we got the Autodesk login here. It basically means I'm downloading it twice in my system. So don't worry about that. Okay, now you get this pop up. You need to click on I agree and next and you can choose your browser wherever you want to install and just click on install. We we'll start installing into your Revit 126. So that's all guys. This is how you can install the Revit. Since I've already installed, it will give me this pop up. So you can try it after install. There is no nothing, no more. So just after the uh, clicking on install, it will uh, install in your system if it has not already. So don't keep other more versions like uh, 2022 to 2026. Keep only one Revit version in your system so that it can work smoothly. Hey, you made it. Revit 2026 now yours. And you are ready to design like never before. 
if this video hurt you even little do me a favor give it that a like right oh, and if you know a friend classmate or a colleague who is still stuck in downloading this frustration send this to them this is wandering architect signing off and i'm not here just to uh, make it to drills i'm here to make sure you win the tools that shape the future of design so drop your question in the comments i reply to everyone and subscribe if you want smart architecture content that respects your time and feed your skill set let's see you in next episode